Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Diecast Alfie. And in the last episode uh, I said I was going to be doing this Kaido house here and I've, which is the 128 and then, uh, I've picked the 122 Datsun 510 Street Nismo to go with it. So here we are, I hope everybody's doing well. I'll just, I'm going to come in close because some people like to take a close up for the information. So it's the 128 Nissan Skyline GTR R34 Kaido Racing Factory version 1. A load of Ting Tong written under there, I don't know, well it'll be what I've just read out. Pinky Pink. Okay, Nissan bottom left hand side official product TSM official logo there and in the bottom right hand side UPC model details okay take a still shot if you want to get your info off that okay so that is that this is the 128 no it's not the other one was this is the 122 Datsun 510 Street Nismo version 2 okay details on the back same Nissan left TSM middle UPC right okay set you still of that if you wish wish to and um, this is the one we're going to start off with this one two two and I'm going to go straight in there it's a white one <laughs> If you, if you couldn't see that for yourself um, lovely uh, crystal clear white as you would expect low profile runs beautiful I mean I've always found with these Kaido they they are a, a definitely a um, a notch up from the, the stock models in terms of quality uh, I don't want to put the kibosh on myself but I seem to have done okay um, with, with these. I mean, sometimes it's the it's the chase versions. If you if you you, you get one of them, the polish, uh, some of that the chrome polish tends to be a bit minging sometimes. Um, it's it's normal. It's it's normal. It's part of the polishing, but I don't know. It miffs me a little bit, really. But there's nothing they can do about it. It is what it is. But uh, Anyway, I shouldn't complain really because I'm lucky enough to get the chase sometimes. Anyway, most of the time I, I end up. But anyway, look at that carbon. The carbon on the dashboard. Don't know if that's picking up there. Yeah, see the carbon. The dashboard there. Their rubber wing mirrors, by the way. You've got a Nismo. you got my mum's mate yakking in the garden if, if it's picking up I do apologize uh, nice inserted with spoked wheels in the bar barrels nice deep barrels on them exhaust here I presume lovely paint job as I say white nice tampos down there kind of house Nismo there, as I say. There we go. I'm trying to over talk over her yakking. <laughs> She's got one of them voice. Oh, you just want to. Oh, well, I don't want to tell you what you want to do, but I do. <laughs> oh, it's shocking. Kaido house written across the the sun visor. Uh, there. Nice lip. Um, on these Datsun 510s you get the different coloured headlamps or oh, I don't I presume well when I say different coloured I don't know if they're capped if there's a lens cap on them or what or they are actually coloured I don't know the the indicators are underneath the headlamp I think they're painted on or as a tampo I can't really see 57 you know my eyes have gone 
same same on that side very very low profile fuel filler at the back inserted into the die cast print yeah you've got to be careful with that uh, skirt at the front I remember one of the earlier ones that I bought yeah, year, well, probably a couple of years ago now um, the, it actually got stuck underneath you know in the box itself because the box um, mould has a bit of a lip and um, it got stuck underneath there I don't know part, probably the glue and it, it came off when I, when I took it out so I had to I had to glue it back on but my gluing skills are poo nice back end I like the back end on these Nismo written across the bottom of the uh, Nismo written across the uh, number plate nice inserted brake clusters yeah very very retro um, nice roll cage in the back there red seats red interior that's very nice nice chrome bumper across the back yeah so that must have been that must be the the exhaust there down the side yeah yeah now I don't know if you can see the the red nice big chunky steering wheel don't know if that's picking up through the you can see that through the windscreen well through the side window yeah yeah very nice model very nice I love the colour as I say very very clean a very clean model that yeah I do like that love to get the well I will get them under the light sooner or later um, in fact I'm just looking now is there a bit of a f flecking what I call flecking silver flexing yeah I think there is in the paintwork don't know if that's coming out on the on the camera I don't mean coming out like a LGBT coming out I mean showing like that there okay very nice model right so we're gonna move on now to the 128 And that, ladies and gentlemen, is it. It is gorgeous. Do you know what? I'm always loathe. I don't know. It's because of my manly silliness um, that I've been. I was. I was brought up in the seventies and eighties. Wanna? So, you know, pink. As far as I'm concerned, isn't for a man. <laughs> but you know that's just silliness isn't it let's be fair that is gorgeous it's a beautiful pink um absolutely gorgeous and, and I, i've only got it I've, I've opened it about 10 minutes ago and i saw it and i thought but it's gorgeous you know because i wasn't it's, well, it's not that i wasn't excited about it it was just I wasn't really yeah yeah it's just oh, I've got that out the box and it's stunning it's absolutely beautiful um, everything about it's gorgeous it, it, it oh, I'm just bringing the focus down a bit because it is gorgeous oh dear me love the fat body kit that body kit is stunning absolutely gorgeous lovely deep look at how deep that the barrel is on that on that back rip wheel Ooh, gorgeous I mean the front one is as well I forgot to see if there was a no there's no gubbins on that one on the bottom yet on this one look at all that gubbins Better gubbins there. Wow. Okay. 
uh, it's just gorgeous. Nissan on the, the the skirt step. Lovely uh, outtake, outtake at the the rear of the the, the front spoil, um, wheel arch, uh, and just gorgeous, gorgeous lines on that in the. Nismo on the front bumper, uh, front grille, I mean. Front bumper is carbon. Now, nice tampos, what does it say? I can't read what it says on the tyres. Can't read it. Meet me eyes. Fifty-seven. Lovely Nissan GTR badge on the front top grille. Nice inserted headlamps. Big fat chunky front end. Beautiful, beautiful model that. Love the colour on it. Stunning. Absolutely beautiful. Kaido Heart, is that what it says? Yeah, Kaido. Yeah, lovely. Nice red roll cage. Carbon on the back, Nismo. Has anyone got that garage yet? That Nismo garage. Oof. I've seen them I've seen them priced at over two hundred pound. Um I think they were under, was it £165 here in the UK? Pre-order that is. Um, well, I, I knocked it back. I, 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 can't, I, I, didn't, I just didn't like it enough. Yeah, nice, in, that nice bucket seats. So lovely bucket seats inside. Not sure if you can pick that up on the camera. Lovely uh, carbonised dashboard. Uh, driver's seat area, steering wheel, Kaido house written on the top of the roof, there. Uh, is that Ting Tong written across the top of the visor? Okay. Yeah, oh the Nismo garage, so plain and boring. But, but you see, then I saw the real fact, uh, the, the real garage, you know, a picture of that. And I thought, to be fair, it apart from the shape of it, which is obviously trendy, it is, it's a proper, you know, realistic model of it. It's just that it's boring. <laughs> um, it's certainly not £165 worth of my good money, uh, in my opinion. But I suppose if you've got a lovely diorama um, in a nice glass cabinet, you're going to have to have it, aren't you? Uh, but, boy, I'd begrudge that hundred and sixty odd pound But sell it, at, well, no, sell it. They were advertising for it. You see, people get this mistake, and you can advertise it for whatever price you want, but it's what you sell it for, you know. I, I always start, when I go on eBay, I do my eBay, I've got 70 odd items, they haven't moved for weeks, I'm probably well overpriced either that or people haven't got the money, but I try and tell people, how do I know how much things are, I haven't got a clue, you, you know sometimes things are on there all the time and you can get a good idea, you know so you know there or thereabouts, but I always try and go on, but, but if I don't see anything on, I've got a guess a price. So I just, I always, you know, as you would, you know, you try and throw it on at a, a, a silly price, you know, to see if there's any takers, you, you know, it's like fishing in it. But you've got to remember, you know, that there's, if you offer free postage, you've got to, you know, go in, go in with that. I try not, not to offer free postage now, if I can help it. Because I don't think I have to time it. If somebody wants some it, they'll pay the three pound forty, you know, for the postage. Which again, all that is now is that's the bog standard second class, uh, forty eight hours tracked. It's not, you know, that's what I pay three pound thirty nine. You know, anyway. Um, 
So, but it's, it's the eBay fees. And then if you're abroad, they have to pay for it. Then I just pay, the, the postage is paid to less, uh, Stoke-on-Trent, sorry. And then um, they have to pay postage again if somebody's buying it from abroad. So that's, you know, that's an added cost to them. But it's my, the, the fees and blah, 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 ooh, whatever. But look at that. Lovely ting tong against the back of the, the spoiler. Beautiful Blake. Bleh, Blake? Brake cluster. Inserted in there. Skyline written across the bottom of the boot. Quad exhaust to either side. Stunning. Love it. What's that written on the ting tong? I think it is. On the. Uh, Number plate. Look at them little wings. Ooh. It's like a a lady's monthly implement for the uh, Dudleys. Two wings there. Look at them. Beautiful. Ooh. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Be downforce, won't it? Whoa. Can you hear that sneezing? Gorgeous. Well, I say that's a gorgeous, gorgeous machine. That is absolutely beautiful. First class. Take me hat off to you, Kaido, with that one. Beautiful. Uh, we better have a look at the 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 engine because we didn't have a look at the other one. Try and do you know? Uh, oh, oh, there we go. There we go. Come on. There we have it. Very, very nice. Nice crossbar section going across the engine. Bit of, is it? Yeah, a bit of carbon at the front. There. Strap, isn't it? That's what we call it, a strap. A bit like some of them parla MPs, parliamentarians, straps. Uh, I won't say the first bit. <laughs> But they're, they're a strap on. Ooh. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, shall we, shall we have a look at the engine bay of the Datsun? Do you know, I knew it wasn't going to be easy. Get this one up. There we go. Quite a nice little engine in there. Yeah, quite nice. It does say things, Nismo, Nissan. I'm sure someone will say, oh yeah, there's two turbos in there. There's a blah, blah, blah. Some of you engine freaks. <laughs> I ain't got a clue. Not got a clue. But what I do know is that they are two very nice models um, indeed yeah very nice I know I've got a bouncing headache that's because there's rain in the air I get them barometric pressure headaches oh god do me head in you know there's rain in the air when when they come. Okay, beautiful. Okay everyone, well if you've enjoyed it, thanks very much for watching. Um I'm trying to get through some of these, I say the, the ones that I've had for a few weeks. Uh, you know and the other thing what I was doing was not force feeding too much videos on you. I know you probably think, well, you've not done us one for a week. Well, I haven't. But then, was I giving you too many? And I don't mean, was I giving you too many um, and I'm trying to be tight-fisted. I mean, am I overloading your time? Have you got the time to watch them? So, you know, 
I'm going to try and drip feed them uh, slowly because I don't want to overload you because people nowadays, time's precious isn't it and this is why I've gone for a bit of a longer video because I know sometimes, I know what I like I just, you know, particularly if you've got a beer, not that I do anymore I, I mean I will do, once I go back to Thailand I'm going to be back on my Chang it won't be Chang, it's the other one, oh god you know what I mean? I've been been away to, from uh, Thailand. Chang's the green, the the elephant bear. Oh God! That, that, oh dear me! I'm absolutely shocking. Um, you've got Leo, Chang. What's the other? One? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna Google it. Thailand beer. At Singer. <laughs> Singer's kind of, it's just a little bit more refined, <laughs> to say the least, than than the elephant bear Chang. Chang gives you a massive headache. Ooh, but but you see what I do? I like sitting, relaxing, putting my feet up. Uh, this is when I have a beer, by the way, and I, I just uh, just watch, just throw my video on. So maybe you want the long videos? I don't know. I ain't got a clue. Um, so I'm trying. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button if you've not already subscribed. Um, any pre-orders, modelstore.co.uk or you can, you can always call, um, contact them. Uh, the number's on the internet. Uh, other model stores, stores available. But you take your chances with some of these idiots. I mean, I'm hearing a hell of a lot of these uh, scammers now. Um, so be careful. Don't you know? Do, yeah, you might get it. You, you know, five, ten pound cheaper. But in the long run, it'll cost you because the the twenty or thirty quid that you you, you give them, you know, you know, you're not going to get the model. You think you're getting a fifty pound model for thirty quid? And you don't get the model because they've scammed you. So it costs you more in the long run. Because if you still want the model, you've, you've got to then go out and, and pay a decent price. So just be careful, you know. I, I know I'm... I, I know if you go on my eBay, I'm dear. But this is... I can't get through to people. You know... I... Uh, uh, well, no, I'm a collector. I'm a collector who sells a few spares basically to fund my own collection you know but do you know what i'm approachable but don't don't do it on um on e ebay i told you ebay mon monitor you, you they monitor your calls and and everything um your text messages so you try and you try and uh let's say for argument's sake one of you say Oh, Alfie, I watch you on eBay. Oh, God. I watch you on YouTube. You know, can you do us a deal? If I said, yeah, 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 contact me on... One, the the lever not send the message because they stop it. You know, the AI stops it. Or or they can review it and get... And I can actually get banned. You get so many strikes and they'll ban you. But, you know, so you've got to be careful. Because I don't want to get banned. I can't be doing with all that nonsense at my age. I'm 57, you know. Right, I'm going. I bored you. Right, beautiful models. That one in particular, that pink one, is stunning. I wish I had more, but one, I haven't got room, and two, um, I, I just, I, 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 well, I'm skin. <laughs> Anyone who's a collector of these things know. Oh, while we're talking about skin and money, I'm sick again of all these exclusives that they keep coming up with. Yeah, they're beautiful. Yeah. I love it, but it's always Singapore, Hong Kong, Thai, where, where, you know, all Indonesia, you, you name it. And then all these these scalpers are going in there, buying them for what, 130, 140 quid, and then send, selling them for six, seven hundred pounds. Hey, and the rest, a thousand pounds. I saw one on the other day. It was, yeah, okay, a great price, four and a half, five hundred notes. A great price, it, it as opposed to paying eight hundred to a thousand, 
But when you think they only paid 130 quid for that car, they're, they're robbers. You know, and we all know what they're actually worth because you buy them for 20 odd quid. And if they're selling you for 20 odd quid, the normal version, it's only the fact that it's an, it's an expo or, you know, a car salon, you know, and it's limited edition, it's, it's still only worth 20 odd quid. But minus that, you know, because that, that, that's a, a, their profit. What, what they're making them for five to ten quid you know and you're paying a, you know i know i totally understand why people pay for the exclusivity blah 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 and some of them are stunning I, and i it, you know what if i had the money i'd probably do the same myself but i hate these these um scalpers i don't mind someone like myself <laughs> you know who, who's got something you say well, you're selling it for, for four times. Yeah, but that's because I'm, you know, I've sat on summer and I've done it and, and it's a one-off. It's not, I'm not a scalper, you know what I mean? Um, maybe I should be, maybe I'd, be, I'd have more money. <laughs> they seem to have everything. Anyway, not to worry, waffled on enough. Take care and I will see you in the next episode of Diecast Alfie. Bye.